Hello Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the Apex Sandbox IO question number 14. So the sum of equals. If you've never heard of Apex Sandbox, it is a really cool tool where you can go and practice Apex. And like I say pretty often, the best way to learn Apex is by doing Apex. Um, so I like to use this tool to practice a little bit. We're going to be looking at question number 14, and it reads, given integers A, B, and C, return true if A and B add up to C. So we're doing some sort of arithmetic operations, addition, and we then need to determine if the first two numbers equal the second number. Looking at the parameters that we get passed in, we have five, or well, for this example, for the example here, we have five and five, and then we are also passed in 10, right? So 10 is a number that we want to get to or want to do the matching on. It's the uh, C in, in this equation, and five and five are the first two sets are A and B. So we're going to add those two numbers together, and does, well, that equals 10. So does 10 equal 10? That's going to be true, so that's going to check off. And then for the second example here, you know, two and eight, so this two plus eight equal um, nine, no it does not because that equals 10. So that's not gonna work out. Taking a look at the hint, it says we need to calculate the sum and use if statements to do a comparison. So let's give that a try. The first thing that we wanna do is kind of set some stuff up. So we know since this is looking for a Boolean for the return, let's just return a uh, Boolean value and we're gonna call it result, right? So uh, let's initialize this result as a Boolean. Result equals, let's just give it false, for, or let's just give it null actually. And if we're doing, so if we do equal to null, uh, this is the same exact thing as just uh, ending the statement right here. So we're, we're, we're ending it, this value is gonna be set to null and we're returning that. And let's run it just to see what we get. So we see that we're getting some failures, you know, the expected was true, we're giving it null, and here are the values, right? One plus two should have been three, uh, 11 plus 12. And you know we're looking for those values not to match, zero, zero, zero. You know, how does all of that work? We have an idea of the parameter inputs, but just like before in previous videos, let's check out like if we've never worked with an if statement in Apex before, let's figure out how we would check that out. So I would go into Google, say Salesforce Apex if statement, and we see this developer guide link and we're looking at an if statement and how it's kind of constructed here. So we've seen the structure of an if statement and now let's take a look at how we're gonna actually write this out. So first, let's actually create a variable to hold the values of our arithmetic operation. So I'm just gonna call this sum a and B, I'm just gonna do it lower. Ideally for camel case, it should be like that, but that looks weird. And then what we want to do is actually do the summation, right? So A plus B, and this is gonna take whatever values that are passed in, in the parameters and send them through. And then we need to check whatever our summed value, maybe summed is better, right? Summed whatever our sum to value is and compare that to C. So this is where that if statement comes into play. If summed equals equals double equal sign for comparison. If they are equal, then we just want to set our result to true. Otherwise, we've got an else statement. We want to set our result. And I forgot my equal sign in here. Result equals false. All right, so now let's go ahead and run this. And we're seeing poof, all of that addition is working successfully um, using the if statement technique as well. Some other ways to kind of clean this up a little bit is one quick way is just pre-filling our result value with false. So we know that we want to set it to true only if this was this checks otherwise it's going to be false so we're kind of like doing the else statement without needing to go through the entire thing so let's run that again we got our nice all pass values there even further we can actually 
remove some of the some of the other variables that we have this makes it very easy to be red but if we're trying to like scrunch things down or see other ways of doing it we can actually move this expression into our if statement so we're saying that we want to do our comparison of our of of our, we want to do our addition and then compare that to whatever value C is and then return the same value. So let's check this out. There we go. Fancy sound there, or, or, you know, notification there, our confetti. Um, and then even further from this, right, we can actually just return this in one line, right? We try to try to always do our one liners. So if this evaluates, it's going to evaluate to true or false. Either this is going to equal um, the same number or it's not. So this by itself uh, here on line five is a Boolean expression. So all we need to do is actually return this inside of our uh, statement. Do our addition and then do our comparison. And then all of this, you can even put it in uh, parens just to make it a little bit easier. All of this is a Boolean expression. This will yield either true or false at the end of it because we're using the comparison operator here. Um, so let's run this and there we have it. We have successfully like, I guess, deconstructed this down pretty far and into a one liner. I wouldn't really recommend doing this unless everything is very clear on what's happening and you know, it's, it's not being used all over the place, but sometimes these shortened comparisons will be very useful inside of your code for uh, certain areas or certain scenarios. If you're struggling with this problem or you want to know more about Apex development, definitely check out my course that I have on Apex development. It's really going over the fundamentals like this stuff, if statements, you know, arithmetic operations, equal signs, stuff like that. So it can really help jumpstart your Salesforce development career and make sure that you understand a lot of the things that are going on here. But anyways, I'm Walters954. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, I believe in you.